Yeah, I was looking at uh, Bioelectric's um, Beck style microbe electrifier, and he's got three settings on there for 40 hertz, 10 hertz, and 4 hertz. And I was curious about something about the 40 hertz setting. I know the actually the 4 hertz setting is actually 3.9, um, which is the half the Schumann Earth frequency, and 10 hertz. I commented about that. Now I don't think these were actually intended to be designed in the product per se. It was a matter of just trying to um, uh, alleviate effects from taking medicines or something and you could still do the, uh, the Beck blood electrification device. But 10 Hertz just happens to be a dopamine frequency and when you're using a 50% duty cycle, I mentioned this before, it actually it goes to the next wave it would hit would be 30 hertz which actually is called the Meg Patterson um, uh, cannabis frequency or feel-good frequency which is kind of unique but I was curious about this 40 hertz setting because um, if you look on the consolidated frequency list and I don't know if this was actually intended per the manufacturer but it turns out to be another good design feature um, it's right if you're just a little over 40 hertz the consolidated annotated frequency list says it's for the immune system stimulation and I calculated, I was looking at it, it's a nice very clean square wave uh, it puts out about almost 30 volts positive negative swings up, in other words I have this on a factor of 10 on the uh, probe so each one of these is 10 volts up and down so it's almost 30 volts up and 30 volts down. An AC current, Beck, the Beck style blood electrifier is actually AC versus DC. And I was calculating um, what this actually is. And it's about 40.6, 40.7 uh, on the frequency versus 40, which, to tell you the truth, that's a much better benefit because it's right smack in the middle of the range of the alleged immune system stimulation frequencies that are listed on the consolidated annotated frequency list now I don't know about all these frequencies being like you know how solid they are and some are more better than others and things like that it depends on you know this is you know it's not endorsed by the FDA or anything like that but it's it's getting to be where it's been had a lot of people out there testing things but I found it interesting because the device happens to be just a hair higher than the 40 hertz which to me that's a major benefit that's a major benefit so I was taking the measurements on a scope so you'd actually add these up and then you add up the next set it's just a little over um, the uh, 12.3 uh, 12 increments on a 2 millisecond scale and it comes up to 24.6 milliseconds and it gets you about 40.6 to 40.7 or, or maybe 40.8 uh, right in this range right here immune system stimulation right in that range and maybe you know right right in here maybe the complete early crane but right in this immune system stimulation and I don't know if that's a feature by design or what but it seems to be it probably has there's another benefit of having this type of Beck style zapper because of those three frequencies, this the standard one, the 3.9 Hertz, it's listed at four, just average, but 3.9 Hertz, half the Schumann Earth frequency, 10 Hertz, uh, happens to be associated with dopamine production, a feel good frequency, and also the next lesser frequency it hits at when this thing runs at just a 50% duty cycle, it would actually be 30 Hertz, which is the Meg Patterson alleged feel good. Um, cannabis marijuana frequency I don't know how strong that is or not but it seems like I always like using the 10 Hertz to tell you the truth the most and um, now I'm looking at the 40 Hertz frequency it's actually you can see it labeled there 40 Hertz it's actually just a hair higher and it puts it up perfectly within the immune system right smack in the middle of the immune system stimulation alleged frequencies on the consolidated annotated frequency list so you know I also want to state something else they often you often use the blood electrifier with the 
wrist uh, straps or whatever it is. You know, I'm suspecting that it might be better to use the foot pads and the um, handhelds like the Clark style uses with the Beck style, with the actual Beck style. Now this puts out AC voltage versus DC voltage and I've been personally, you know, I can't make statements as to what other people do but uh, what it's going to do for them. I personally have been doing this for years and from what I've noticed and actually from what other people noticed but I had a hard time believing it until I experienced it myself is that this type of zapper seems to greatly improve energy and it does it supposedly by unclumping the red blood cells so there's more efficient ATP production going in and out of the cells uh, that's your energy sacks in the cells but anyway makes a very nice clean square wave and um, you know just happens to be have three great frequencies one the first one being half the Schumann earth frequency number two happens to be like the a feel good dopamine type frequency 10 which also hits 30 on a second wave up because when I mean, you're using a 50% duty cycle it goes in multiples of odd harmonics so it'll go three five seven in descending order so the next set of waves it would hit would be 30 which happens to be the Meg Patterson uh, cannabis feel good marijuana frequency or whatever you know, I don't know if it's as strong as that but I always like using 10 I didn't realize why and um, I don't smoke weed or anything but I'm just saying it's uh, maybe that's why it seemed to be I don't know maybe it was a to feel good frequency or something and then the 40 the 40 is just a hair higher which like I stated before puts it exactly within this immune system stimulation so this particular Beck style zapper has some really really great features over the standard ones that are out there it's the only one on the market that has these three frequencies and it also has the battery light which you can test your battery like that by pressing that in and uh, also um, has the conduct connection light which means you're making a connection from you know if the wires disconnect it you'll know it right away because the red light will be off but anyway uh, I just want to point this out because um, you know since I got the scope I'm going to be checking all these different zappers and things like that and see you know where they actually stand at and uh, just pass on the information but it, I found that highly interesting because you know I was hoping this was going to be a hair higher. I says, "Wow, that's pretty cool." If it is, it turned out to be that way. So that's uh, another cool design feature in the uh, the microbe electrifier from Bioelectric.